Hello students, what is the difference between for loop and for each loop in Java? See, you know the for loop very well, it is just like a while loop, again do while loop. That is a traditional approach of looping. We already seen like there is a counter variable uh, that we have to initialize first, then there is a test condition, increment, decrement. And according to the condition, I mean still the condition is true, the execution will be done. That is the normal approach, that is a traditional approach that uh, till now we have seen. Now what is this for each loop that is a somewhat different than for loop means it is just an enhanced for loop came in 1.5 version of Java and that is only applicable for collections and array related classes which are implementing the iterable interface that is present in java.lang package. See, consider here array x having these contents. Now I want to just display these array contents then I can use either for loop or for each loop if you want to use for loop then you know like we have to just place one counter variable here like i equals to zero i less than x dot length see length is a property of that array that will give you the number of elements in that array that's why x dot length i plus plus means uh, index starts with zero and ends with a size minus one that's why here the loop will be like this for i equals to zero i less than x dot length i plus plus and i'm just displaying each and every element like x of i then here you will get array displayed let instead of that i want to use for each loop then how we can use like for int x1 colon x means for each value of x1 from this x array here one by one all the elements of that x1 array will be fished and stored inside x1 and those we can display here the data type of x1 that is integer that should match with individual element of that array getting this same for each loop we can use to iterate uh, through any collection also it may be say at least getting now see the next point is here suppose you want to display hello message fine number of text onto the screen then we can use traditional for loop like for i equals to zero i less than five plus plus just display hello but how we can use for each loop here we can't use here for each loop means it is not a general purpose loop again if you want to just display the array contents in reverse order there also we can use a for loop here we'll place them backward for loop but see we cannot use for each again in that case getting means for each loop is a enhanced for loop that is applicable only for arrays and collection related classes and there we can use only forward approach getting to learn more subscribe to our channel thank you